when it comes to marketing and promoting your music, most artists, they, they do it the wrong way. Um, artists, they are great at creating, but they're not good at the business of creating, right? The artists are great at creating music, but they're not great at the business of music. So in this short video, I want to show you what you shouldn't do. And then I want to show you what you should do. And I want to show you just more modern ways where you can actually get more streams and, and uh, 20X your fan base, but most importantly, make an income from your music. Because just because you are you have a lot of followers, just because you're getting a lot of streams, that necessarily doesn't translate to income. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're making money. And I could argue that no matter if you're an influencer, artist, or whatever, usually people with a lot of streams usually don't even hardly have any money because they don't know how to actually monetize their attention. So I want to show you some ways in which you could do that, where you could start making five to six figures from your music and most importantly, getting your music just seen and heard on a bigger scale. So let me show you some things that you shouldn't do. And these are, these are common things that most artists do that don't literally work. So one thing that artists do is they, they pay for promo. Most artists, they find, they always find like this agent or this marketing firm or this music promotion website, and they try to pay for promotion. Now, here's how I can prove that this doesn't work and has never worked in a history of promotional companies for music. Name one artist that's ever blew up from a promotional company that's, that promotes music. You can't name one artist that's ever blew up from paying a promoter or paying a music marketing company. So you, why are you doing it? Majority artists that I meet, they're like, hey, I paid this website or I paid this website to market and promote my music and they didn't get any type of results. But you know why? Because it doesn't work. And so the trap that you don't want to fall into is having people telling you that they could blow you up when they don't, they're not even known in the music industry. They've never even blew anybody up in the music industry. The number one question you should ask if somebody says, hey, I can help market and promote your music. You're, the number one question you should ask them is, who have you marketed and promoted and actually uh, blew up? Who are you responsible for? Whose career are you responsible for, for actually taking them and getting their music seen and heard at a platinum scale? And most artists, most uh, promoters, they're not going to be able to name anybody. The second thing that most artists uh, try in order to get their music seen and heard that doesn't work is this. They try to get playlisted. Excuse my handwriting, but they try to get playlisted. This never works as well. Getting playlisted is probably one of the biggest scams ever because most of the companies that say that, hey, we're going to add you to these playlists. What they don't tell you is they own these playlists and they buy bots to the playlist. And when you actually purchase from them, they buy bots on the music that they put on the playlist. So and 90 percent of all these websites, again, they own they own literally the playlist. They just go and create a bunch of random playlists and then they have forum bots actually stream them so it could look like it's a big playlist. And then when you pay to add your single on the playlist, they then put a bunch of bots um, so it could look like you're getting all these streams. But the truth is they're literally all bots. And again, the same thing I asked about uh, the, the question I pose for people who pay for promotion is the same question I pose for people who play to get, uh, pay to get playlisted. Name one artist that's ever blew up from literally getting playlisted. It doesn't work. Now, a lot of artists say this. They say, they say, I need a manager. You know, my music is great. All I'm missing is a manager. If only I had a manager. Here's the truth. The manager is the seventh step in your career. It's not the first. You see, you're thinking that if you get you a manager, then all of a sudden you're just going to have like, you're just, just going to grow. You're going to be major. You're going to get all these streams and fans. And no, it doesn't work like that. A manager is not responsible for blowing you up. 
A manager is responsible for managing. So if you don't have anything to manage, then you cannot look for a manager. Managers manage. If you don't have shows, if you don't have a flow of income coming in, if you don't have people booking you for different events and stuff, then there's nothing to manage. So it's not the problem is not that you need a manager because if you don't have nothing to manage, then you shouldn't even be thinking about this. The fourth thing that doesn't work that most artists do, and this one should have been the first one, is they think they have to... They think they have to post more. This is a big one. Most artists and musicians think like, hey, if I post more, if I go live once a day, if I post three times a day, if I go on TikTok and do all these different challenges, then maybe I'm going to get a fraction of people to click the link in my bio, then hopefully they'll like my music. No, it doesn't work that way. Again, now I want to explain something to you. We have ego activities and then we have income activities. Posting all the time on social media, that's an ego activity. That but it's not an income activity. See, most artists, they 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 want to be seen so much. They want to be seen and recognized to the point that it, it literally fogs their mind on actually becoming successful because part of being a successful musician or artist is the ego activity and the income activity. But most artists get caught up in the ego activity. Getting a bunch of followers is ego. Getting a bunch of likes is ego. Getting a bunch of comments is ego. But it doesn't do anything for your income, which is why a majority of artists and majority of people on Instagram and TikTok who have verified followers with millions of followers and verified accounts have no money because they actually, they're rich in ego and broke in their bank account. Ego and ego activities and income activities, right? You want to be a rich artist. You Yes, there's nothing wrong with being very, I'm verified. I have uh, over 100,000, over 150,000 followers. There's, but guess what? There's money in my bank because I didn't get caught up with just the ego activities. I also did income activities. Most artists, they're not doing the income activities, which is why they make great music while they're broke. So you have to learn the right strategies because getting your music seen and heard, yes, that's part of it, but you want to make an income so you can be able to take care of yourself and your family at a high level. So the question is, how do you get the income from your music? How can you make five to six figures from your music? I'm going to show you. The easiest way to generate five to six figures from your music is using a system that I came up with called the fan funnel system. And let me show you like, let me show you how this works. I'm going to show you real quick how this works. So the, with the fan funnel, what you want to do is you want to start off with using a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad, right? So we're going to call like this part of the funnel. This is the top of the funnel, right? And this part is called ad. And basically with this, with this part of the funnel, you're going to attract. This is where you want to attract your fans. So let's say that you're watching this and your, your music sounds like Rihanna. Or if you do rap music, your music sounds like Future. Or your music sounds like 2 Chains, right? We're Basically, you're going to run a Facebook ad. You're going to use your music video or your music as a Facebook or YouTube ad. And you're going to target 2 Chains. So basically, you're going to funnel hack 2 Chains by actually taking his fans. So listen, your phone listens to you when you talk, right? Every, we're in this age where people are like, oh, our, the data, the data. But listen, yes, the phone listens to you. Yes, your computer listens to you. Yes, everything you type on the, on the computer, it records it. It actually takes your data. But you want to be on this side where you could use that data so you could get rich and so you could get famous and so you could be prosperous as an artist. So if your music sounds like 2 Chainz music, then you should actually run an ad towards the name 2 Chains. That way, anybody who said the word 2 Chains around their phone or typed it in on their computer, they're going to see your ad. And now you can hijack a portion of 2 Chains fan base. And what you want to do after that, once they see their ad, then here's the next part of the funnel. They, you collect their email. And the reason why you want to collect 
your fans email addresses because you want to build a rapport and a relationship with them but also you want to be able to have an impact next time you drop your song imagine if you had twenty thousand streams that's twenty thousand fans which means that's if you did that the right way that could be twenty thousand emails that you could get now why is twenty thousand emails of your fans important because if you had twenty thousand emails then you can present an offer you can present an offer to them so you're going to run an ad with your music video and you're going to target a, a, a artist that has music that's similar to yours and then once you target them your people are going to see that ad and they're going to click on it and then they're going to give you their email and then once you get their email now you can present them an offer and see, when you present them an offer, it could be a low ticket offer, like a t-shirt, a hat, or it could be a high ticket offer that's $9.97. Or with those, remember, if you get 20,000 emails, you could get you could get 20,000 emails within one week running the correct ad, right? So if you got 10,000 emails or 20,000 emails, now you can create an offer and make five figures that day. You can literally make five, you can literally on the low end make a couple of grand. Do you know how much money you can make if you just had five or 10,000 emails? You could be set for life. And this is how you actually start making five to six figures. So you run an ad, you get to your fans, you turn a casual listener into a super fan through the email of building a relationship and a rapport with them. And then you create an offer. And once you create an offer, this is where you get paid and you just keep repeating this system over and over and over and that is how you get super fans and once people become once you get super fans they will buy everything from you and that the end of the funnel is the money add email offer you present an offer to your email list then they become super fans and buy this is the best way to actually make five to six figures from your music. Listen, you're already part of everybody else's funnel. You right now, if you check your email list, you're getting tons of emails from billion dollar companies that you pulled your debit card out with. Now they're trying to sell you more shit every single day. They send you an email trying to sell you something because you already bought from them. So if billion dollar companies are doing it to you, shouldn't you be doing it to your fans? You see, from a music aspect, we could call them fans. But from a business aspect, we could call them customers because your fans can sponsor your life. But like I say in my program, the offer you don't make is the offer they can't take. It's not good enough just to give your fans music. You should also be making offers and giving them merch and digital products. That way you can make money because Spotify only pays you half of a half of a half of a penny. Plus Spotify and Tidal and all the DSPs do not give you any data. So even though you're sending your fans over to click your music, YouTube, Spotify, they're not giving you any data. So you don't, you don't get their name. You don't get their email address. You have no clue who's listening to your music. And also you're not even getting paid the money that you're worth. So you should learn how to learn. This is the new business model for your music. Stop having a slave mentality thinking that you need a manager or a, 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 a record deal. No, all you need is the right strategy. Strategy always beats talent. It doesn't matter how talented you are. You can have a song produced by God featuring Jesus. If nobody hears it and nobody sees it, it's almost like you never recorded a record. Look, if you want to learn this strategy, I have a one hour video, really it's 55 minutes, and I'm going to show you step by step this full strategy in detail. I'm gonna walk you step by step how you can actually 20 extra streams, your fan base, and make five to six figures from your music. This is the short version, but if you want the longer version where you can follow me step by step, pause it and do it yourself for absolutely free, you can watch this free training video. All you have to do is just click that link below. It's gonna take you to the free training video and I'm gonna show you information that's literally going to change your life. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.